May is Preeclampsia Awareness Month. It's a high blood pressure disorder that affects 400,000 women in the U.S. each year during their pregnancy or postpartum. And we're joined live in studio by Dr. Renesa Anthony. She's an OBGYN and founder of Momentum Park, and Jody Klaristenfeld, who suffered from the condition and coaches parents of preemies. Thank you both so much for being here this morning. I really appreciate it. You know, so many women, you, you read that statistic and you think 400,000 women are going to go through this and no one really knows that much about it. Can you speak to what it is and how women know they have this condition? Yeah, it's actually one of the most common pregnancy complications that we see in obstetrics. Uh, the number one sign is elevated blood pressure. Blood pressure, blood pressure, blood pressure, blood pressure. It's why we recommend that every woman who's pregnant has in their home a blood pressure cuff. The symptoms that you're gonna see, headaches, vision changes and swelling in your legs, your feet, your extremities, and then really any right upper quadrant pain is what you're gonna be looking for. But Jody, you experience this. I, you know, I'm listening to this, but I feel like in pregnancy, you experience those things anyway. How did you know you had it and, and how did it affect your pregnancy? Actually, to your point, I didn't know that you I didn't. had it. I went to the doctor really because I started seeing double vision, but I did have the extreme weight gain of 20 pounds in six days and I had extremely high blood pressure as well. That's, can you talk, my best friend went through this and it was so scary when, when she did, we got the phone call that she was in the hospital, that this can be life threatening. Absolutely, so we found that um, for all women, they're at risk. But for women who look like me, black women, whether you're Beyonce, Serena Williams, we have a 60% increased risk of mm. preeclampsia and then also dying from these complications. It's really important to get preeclampsia diagnosed early, which is why that blood pressure is so important because it can advance from preeclampsia to really life-threatening things like eclampsia and health syndrome. Mm. And that's, uh, there's a new test the FDA just approved that I'm finding so interesting. Can you talk about that? Yes, yeah, so this test is available through your provider, through the hospital. Again, knowing what your blood pressure is at home is gonna really help you advocate for yourself. That test that we do in the hospital can really distinguish between those who are gonna progress to severe complications versus those that we can manage in a, a different, lighter way. Can you talk about your experience, Jody, in the NICU and what that was like? And you created this coaching company now for preemie parents. Tell people what that's about. Yes, I created a company, Flourish, um, that helps educate, empower, and really support preemie parents on their journey. But one of the things that we do talk about a lot is when women suffer from preeclampsia, such as I did, you have to deliver early. Mm. And unfortunately, that's the only thing to do because it helps with the blood pressure but I encourage women to seek out cardiac care and to seek out nephrologists as well because there are those many, that many more risks associated with heart disease later down the road and high blood pressure down the road once you have preeclampsia. Oh, I did not know that. And you started Momentum Park, you're nodding your head. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so Momentum Park is my labor of love. And uh, I started it because we really wanted to use the power of technology to meet women exactly where they are in the communities, on their cell phones, on their tablets. We connect them to doulas, community health workers, and really work with healthcare providers. And through this sisterhood, we really help women advocate for themselves, educate them on things like preeclampsia and other complications and symptoms, because we wanna have healthier, thriving mamas who grow and deliver healthy, thriving babies. <laughs> and that's everybody's okay today, Jody. Yes, thankfully. You know, we were in the right place at the right time. Um, my daughter is a smiley, happy, healthy five-year-old girl, and I'm doing what I do because I want to give back to the community, and I really want to help moms feel less isolated, less alone, especially during that postpartum period once they've been in the NICU. Well, that's, I think that's part of it too, isn't it? It's like we, we all think we go through this alone, and in reality, when you look at the numbers, so many women are going through this collectively. That's why we need the sisterhood. <laughs> we need the sisterhood for a lot of things, yes. but I really appreciate you both being here to talk about this. It's really important to so many women. Thank you both. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, if you'd like more information about Dr. Anthony and Jody and their organizations, because they're both doing so much good, just go to kcalnews.com and click Scene on TV.